everybody, it's Wendy Cranford. Welcome to 11 Life Friday. I just wanted to show you today um, how you could change up the kit you get this month. So this is how the kit was put together last week on both sides. Whoops. All right. So today I'm going to show you how we can change up some of these because obviously on the back there's different prints. And same with your little inserts down here. So there's different things you can do with your insert pages, okay? So I'm gonna set these aside. And so I wanted to just show you on this one, instead of using this side of the paper, which has the little words all over it for a pocket, you could flip it over and use it right here. And you could put a photo here or some, whatever, something else. But it just gives you a different decorative element. And then um, on this other side, you would have this print, which I've got here. And I put a piece of this basic gray, which you'll get. That's part of your kit. And then instead of cutting these apart, like I did on this one, I am going to go ahead and leave them together and just put them on top of here. And so you could leave this as a decorative element or I'll show you what else you could do. So we're just going to leave this like this. And then for this bottom pocket down here, we originally had this. And instead, I'm going to go with having this piece and then putting a basic gray piece here to cover and then this piece would go here, like so. And then you could either journal here or you could put a photo, whatever you wanted to do. And then on the other side of this pocket, I'm gonna move these out of the way, you could do your word and then this, because remember this piece was up here like this so we could do this here and then again you could add washi tape to the edges you can journal here add another layer of paper or a sticker so remember you're gonna get three sheets of stickers and then you just have different elements that you can add in so let's do a couple of those for here instead of this one so it is really cute. It turned out great. It just has for the record sticker and a date sticker and a cute camera and a tag. And then for this corner, I did this, which just is using our washi tape and some of the stickers. So I could do that there. And then on the other side, I used this paper with all the hexagons and I made a place for journaling. You could add a photo here if you wanted. And then there's another little spot you could put a date or something like that in. So that would go here. Now remember these are just options that you could do instead of what you're already doing. And then this one I made to go here and it just says hey there. And then there's a place for journaling or you could put a photo, whatever you'd like. So that's what uh, my second idea is and all the elements that you get in your, uh, I'm gonna take them out of the plastic so there's not so much reflection. Um, all the papers and stuff you get in your scrapbooking love and life kit, you can do these with. So you won't be able to do two of each but if there's something you like better than something else then you could certainly um, use it and replace it. So that's it everybody, that's uh, my video for today. And I hope you enjoyed uh, this other idea using the this and that products and paper and Love and Life kit for this month. If you have questions about Love and Life kits, please feel free to contact me. You can email me at wendy.cranford at live.com or you can check it out on my website at loveandstampinup.com. It's $15 every month and you just get a great scrapbooking kit already put together, ready to go for you. Thanks so much for watching everybody. I hope you have a great day.